Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to Simply Blessed Crafts. Uh, sorry it's been so long since I have posted. Um, it's just trying to get, trying to get used to everything. Like, I'm still dealing with the dog and I usually will try to, um, do some kind of crafting or something when my husband come home comes home from work and then he watches the dog while I go and do my crafts well there's been a few times when I'm just like you know I understand that I need to get a video out but I just want to see my husband I mean he's been gone all day at work and the last couple of days I've been working on crafts so I'm just like I'm gonna you know, and then I usually go to bed with him, which is pretty early. I, I watch TV in bed, don't don't get me wrong. I don't go to bed at like 8 o'clock, which is what you he usually does because he gets up so early. Um, but I mean, it's it's our it's our bonding time usually when we're laying together in bed and even though I'm watching TV and he's sleeping, it's, it's just like that good feeling that, you know, I, I want to be with him. So... It's just really hard. Um, this last weekend, or this weekend too, we, um, I got together with some family and we went out and, um, did, uh, did, uh, did a little bit of shopping, I guess is what we did. But we, we decided we were going to go to, um, a few towns away, about an hour away, maybe an hour and a half, something like that. Um, and just, you know, spend the day together and everything and that's what happened yesterday so we never got the video out yesterday because otherwise I would have had my video out on Saturday but it just stuff ended up happening um, I mean and it's getting really close like my my Sunday and Monday is like the only two days from Saturday to get my video out so if I don't do any crafting on Sunday and Monday then Tuesdays are I don't have a video for you so I have to try to build up a little bit with my my crafts I have to do a few more during the week which means I either do something with the dog or I don't get to spend time with my husband like I want so it's it's just the juggling thing I just have to get used to it so I apologize guys I am trying my darndest to get stuff out there for you to watch and to enjoy especially for Christmas I am oh I'm absolutely in love with Christmas and I love doing these DIYs for you I'm in so much I'm, I'm enjoying myself so much I just wish that I had more time to do it for you guys so I can give you the content that you want so just bear with me guys please I'm trying my darndest to get it together um I am gonna warn you guys that uh the first weekend in November I will try my darndest to get you a video out on that Tuesday but I don't know if I'm gonna have a video for you guys on that Saturday it's gonna be like the 5th of November um me and my husband are actually leaving for the weekend. We are going to go celebrate our anniversary. Our anniversary was on the 9th of October. Um, and we were planning on going on a little get together on that weekend, but it just didn't work out. So my parents are watching the dog and we are going to go down uh, to South Dakota over to the Black Hills. We're really looking forward to that. It's going to be cold, but it's going to be fun. Um, so I will not have a video out for you that weekend. I, I mean, it's, it's going to be a very wonderful time for us to celebrate. It's our first anniversary. I mean, when we spent our anniversary, we were sitting here at home, which I'm not saying is a bad thing, but we were sitting here at home with the dog and eating cake, I guess, because, you know, but... We never actually got to go and enjoy each other for the weekend or whatever. We were dealing with stuff here at home. So we're actually going to go enjoy ourselves. So I'm telling you right now that in a couple weeks, there probably won't be a video on Saturday. Um, but with all that being said, guys, I hope that you're looking forward to this video. And let's get into those DIYs. 
identify the person. Hi, Peace Keeper. A little while later, they managed to record another horrific event for a brief moment. What are you doing? You just laying there? Hmm? Are you just laying there? Looking how cute. You say hi to all your viewers. Can you say hi? Can you speak? Can you speak? 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 Can you speak? Biscuit, speak. 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 You're in the shadows. Nobody can see you now. Come over here. Come over here. There you go. It's a little better. You can get all close and personal. Can you speak? Speak. 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 No? You're going to be stubborn? Speak. You speak? Speak. Speak. Accessibility shortcuts. Ten items. Voice guide. Off. Can you speak? Oh. Oh, such a little whiner. Speak. 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 Daddy will give you a treat. Speak. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, they're good girls. They're the good girls. Go get daddy. Go get dad. Go get dad. You got snummies for you. Good girl. Good girl, baby. Good girl, baby. DIY number one. So here guys, I am just taking a couple of these tags that you can get from Dollar Tree. Um, they're in, they were in their summer, um, sea stuff, uh, that I got this, this last summer. Um, you can use any tags. They come out with every, they come, they come out with them every year or every season, so... Um, I'm grabbing some, um, some wrapping paper, uh, the Buffalo Check wrapping paper, and I'm just covering this over. Um, I used this to wrap presents last year, and I have abundance of it left over, so I'm either going to use it up this year, or I'm going to use it for crafts, either one, so. Um, so I just glued that down, and then I'm going to go over it with my X-Acto knife. This... Um, this wrapping paper is really thick. I believe I got this stuff from, um, Hobby Lobby. So it is, it is pretty thick. Um, so I didn't, I didn't even bother to try my sanding block at this, but my sanding block is, is junk anyway. I, I need to get some more. Um, and then with, for this tag here, I went in with some of this uh, sticky wallpaper that you can get from Dollar Tree. Um, my store just started carrying this, so I was pretty excited to try it. Uh, but you can use scrapbook paper and everything too. If you guys can't, if you guys don't have a Dollar Tree or aren't near a Dollar Tree or your Dollar Tree don't carry them, um, you're you're definitely the, I know Hobby Lobby has wallpaper or has wallpaper has uh, scrapbook paper that's very similar to this so definitely check out some str scrapbook paper for that after I get it all cut out <clears throat> I uh, grab my calendar my it's a 2023 calendar. Oh, no, I'm going to cut out the little circle for first. Um, I just grab my exacto knife and go around the edge of each circle there. Cut it out. Um, and then I go in with my uh, 2023 calendar. It's the farmer's market one. Um, 
I'm sure you've all seen this DIY used or this calendar page used a lot. Um, but I, I, yeah, I thought it would go really nice with this background and everything. So I wanted to use this. I thought it was very pretty. And I've never actually made one of these tag signs, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to try it out. And here I'm just going over the um, Zacto knife to get rid of the excess paper. And here I'm going to just line it up with the other one in the back. Get my glue gun ready and I'm just going to glue that down where I want it. I do tie the hanger back on. I don't show that. But I grab um, some of this Buffalo Check ribbon. Um, I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby as well last year. Um, if you hear a meowing in the background, it's Sylvie. She she came in to visit me. Um, but I just looped it over on itself probably like four to six times. I don't remember which one it was, but it just depends on how many loops you want on your bow. Um, if you want a bow tutorial on how to do this, you can go check out Olivia's Romantic Home. Um, she has a bow tutorial and she uses this bow all the time. She calls it uh, Olivia Bow, so... But here I'm just flushing, flushing, fluffing out my bow. I cut off a little excess of it. Um, I do leave the string hangers that I tied in the back from the tails of the, oh my gosh, you guys, the way I talk on here. <laughs> um, anyway, I left the twine uh, strings hanging. Um, I wanted to um, add a couple of little beads to this. So I got these Buffalo Check beads from uh, Amazon. I also have some red and black ones. Um, I just stringed them on and then tied the little end to it. And then I do the same to this other side. <clears throat> and then I thought it needed a little bit something else. So I grabbed one of my um, picks that I have in my stash. What, Sylvie? Guys, she don't get much attention now that we have the dog, so she's very lovey-dovey right now. But here I'm just grabbing some picks, and I'm just gluing them right down behind the bow. And there you have it, guys. DIY number two. So here, um... I grabbed some fabric, and this one's probably my favorite, guys. I, I loved how this one turned out. I did not do any measurements. I'm just all doing this by by eye. Um, and, and, you know, that's... A lot of my stuff is farmy, farmhouse, and so it, not nothing's going to be perfect. It's all rustic and everything, but I basically just cut out a square and then I cut out a triangle from that square. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with this truck fabric um, that I got from Dollar Tree. The red and white, or the red and white, yeah, the red and white and black um, fabric there that I have. Uh, I got that from a thrift store a long time ago. I've had it in my stash for a while. Um, here I'm just kind of lining up uh, how big I want the square, but I don't want the tree to be that big, so I'm just kind of seeing where the other one was. And then 
I go and just cut another another uh, tree form out of this fabric and I just don't go up as high like I said I want it a little bit smaller than the other one and here I'm just trying to line it up um, my fabric was rolling up on me so I was trying to get it to lay flat it was being stubborn but here then I just grab my hot glue gun and I just go along the edges a little bit in the on the bottom but make sure you leave enough to uh, be able to get um, to flip it right side in and to stuff it I did end up flipping it back through because I ended up having a spot where it wasn't sticking so obviously my glue dried before I got a chance to stick it down good or something but then I'm just folding it back in like you saw me do already I grab a paintbrush you can grab a pencil um, I actually recommend a pencil because it's gonna be thicker um, I actually poked through a couple of times on some of this fabric because it was so thin so and here I'm just doing the same thing to this fabric I've seen so many people do these and I really wanted to do them last year but I didn't I didn't uh, I didn't have time and I mean, it didn't matter anyway I didn't have my channel going but then I'll get to share it with you guys so I definitely want to make more of these I really thought these were fun and they're very easy to do um, so just keep that in mind and further <laughs> DIYs um, you might see these again so Make sure you try to get the the corners pushed out. That was probably the hardest thing I had. But there you go. And then I grab some polyfill and I just stuff these till I thought they looked good. You can um you can get a old pillow or you can use some um some plastic bags or whatever you guys have on hand. I had the polyfill on hand. That's the only reason why I used that. But I mean, use what you have at home. These, I had the fabric at home. I had the polyfill, and you'll ha I'll have I have everything else that I'm going to be using too. I mean, I did not go shopping for anything in this. So. This is a very easy project for just stuff that you have here at home home I mean you guys can even use old clothes for stuff like this um, so the stems here I'm actually using uh, old foam brushes that um, I've already used and paints dried and everything uh, so I just pulled off the the sponge and used the stem I thought I liked that they were a little bit thicker and everything if you do not have stuff like this you could most definitely use doll rods I mean but I really liked that these were a lot thicker. Um, and these little rounds, I've had these in my stash forever. I glue two of them together for each tree. Um, I do not even remember where I've got them. They might have been Amazon a very, very long time ago. Probably before I even really was hardcore into, into crafting. Um, so yeah. But anyway, I'm just gluing the the fabric around the stick. I mean, I know you saw me do it on the first one too, so it's... But yeah, just... Just make it a little pocket and glue on the edges. And then you need to glue the little stick right down to the little rounds, and I absolutely love these. These are so cute. DIY number three. So this plaque here I got for five dollars at the uh, Dollar Tree Plus section. 
Um, I know you can get these at Walmart, you can get these at Hobby Lobby, at Michael's, any kind of craft store you have around, I know you can get those. So, um, I don't know the prices necessarily, but I know you can get them other places. So, but here I'm just using another piece of that scrapbook paper and I recommend you guys lining up your plaque onto your page so you get straight lines. I did not do that and I was just like meh whatever but when I flip it back around and I get all the excess um, off of it my lines on the bottom you can definitely tell that it's crooked um, my white and gray lines down there at the bottom are definitely not straight uh, My sanding block again was not working. I tried it, but it just wasn't working. So I grabbed my X-Acto knife and I just go along the edges of where that little lip is and I just cut around. So here I am just um, going over the edges with some white. Uh, plaster paint. I, w I wanted the edges to be painted to go along with the buffalo check, but I didn't want them stained. Um, so I just went around the edges. I didn't worry about the back, just the edges. Um, here I've got a little deer. I got it. It's the price tag actually says $6.99 on it. I got these from Joann's last year, um, and everything was 50% off when I bought them. So like three dollars and these are good good size they're thick I thought that they were a great deal um so here I'm just grabbing some antique wax and I'm just staining uh, staining my deer here um, the re this is the reason why I didn't go over the edges otherwise I probably would have went over the edges with with the antique wax I really like the color so but I wanted this deer to stand out a lot more, so. Here I'm just drying it quick. And then I grab um, my plaque and kind of line it up down there. I know the one little horn is sticking out, but I was okay with that. So here I'm just grabbing that scrap piece of ribbon that I had from my previous project and I'm just, I cut the edges around it off so it didn't have the, the actual edge of the ribbon around it, so. And then I glue it down to his neck. And then I kind of make, um, fringes around the scarf. I kind of pull it off a little bit so it kind of looks frayed and stuff but um and then after that I grabbed one of my picks and I'm just cutting a little pieces of greenery off of there for around his neck. He needs to have some kind of decoration. He just looked a little too plain. So here I'm just kind of lining it up with what I want to want on there and then I grab my glue gun and I just Stick it down. And then I grab some little red berries and I glue them right down to the center of it. And then I'm going to line up my deer and then I'm going to glue my cute little deer down. You guys let me know if there's anything else I need for this project. I was kind of debating on whether to put a bow or something in the corner, but you let me know. Do you like it this way or should I add something else to it? DIY number four. This is probably one of my favorites as well, guys. Um, and these have been made many, many times on channels. Um, but I'm just going over these two uh, 
two by fours with some um, plaster chalk paint. I'm drawing a blank. Um, this is actually a blanket from the Dollar Tree. Again, you guys can use any fabric. You can even use real hats. Whatever you guys need to do. Um, you don't have to get stuff from the Dollar Tree. You can use any kind of fabric, any kind of old clothes or anything like that. This is probably one of the simplest hats to make on this little guy. Um, and this one actually would be perfect to have up um, throughout the season and for like the winter season. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm like the worst at um, like decor decorating. I'm lazy. Like, I love Christmas so much that I usually do not take my Christmas stuff down um, until way after Christmas. So, I don't even usually think about decorating for the winter months. I mean, it's usually my Christmas stuff. So, these will be up in my house probably until at least March. If not April. There's sometimes I don't even get my Christmas stuff down until April. So, I, yeah, I have a hard time taking my Christmas tree down. I just, I love Christmas so much. I get, my whole family knows of kind of where I'm at there. But anyway, um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just, I just tied the top of it, the top of the hat after you get the excess off. And then I just cut the little fringes on the top of his hat. And then I glued around it. I mean, it's pretty... And you kind of saw what I did. It's pretty self-explanatory. But um, here I'm just going to cut another strip. I cut off the edge, basically. Because we don't want that sewn edge around it. And then I cut another strip for his scarf. And here I'm just laying him down. And I'm just tying it around him. And I just yep, start gluing gluing it down so it doesn't move. And then I grab my scissors and I do the fringes on his little scarf there too. I do cut the edge off there, that sewn edge, and I do the fringes on that as well. And then I do show you again how to do um, his hat. I waited to do anything on his face because I had this other one. I do show you kind of how to do his hat. Um, this is also a scarf from the Dollar Tree that I'm using. So, I didn't show you the scarf, but I basically did the same thing with the scarf. Now guys, I was really wondering if I really wanted to um, put eyes and mouth on him. I I really do like the farmhouse, just rustic look, and I thought these were just the cutest things with just the little red carrot. So I did leave it without the faces on these. You are more than welcome to put faces on them if you want to like the eyes and stuff um, I grabbed out some buttons two for each snowman and I grabbed they're, they are kind of blackish brown and I just glued them right down to their little tummies and that is it for this DIY guys let me know what you guys think See, I'm kind of him hawing around if I wanted to put faces on him, but final review. 
and aren't they just the cutest things? Let me know down below, guys, which one's your favorite. Um, please like this video if you really liked the content and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. I would really love to have you guys a part of the family. Um, I enjoy every single one of you and um, share this video if there's anybody in your family that would love to see what I have in store for them. Um, I, I love every one of you and I love hearing all your guys' comments and I appreciate every single one of you and I hope all of you have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully I will have a video out for you Friday. Hope you enjoyed all this, guys, and God bless. Bye.